um, for the weekend. So, but I, I just wanted to at least come in for a few minutes and go over a couple things. Um, but yeah, I had the entire weekend plan. We got meetings and we got this huge event that we're doing and we got a ton of marketing and a ton of uh, different opportunities that we're looking at while we're down there. So I'm meeting with a ton of people. And of course, a lot of it's a lot of networking and a lot of promotion and a lot of uh, great stuff for Saitama, of course. Um, we had to be kind of a little bit cryptic about our messaging and our promotion and how we're going about doing what we're doing. So I hope you guys can kind of read between the lines a little bit. I'll leave that up for the community to kind of see what it is. But when anybody that has any experience <clears throat> in business and education and promotion and, you know, specific to events like this, there's a lot of different entities involved. And that's kind of the reason why it took so long for us to kind of get things together. It's not that, you know, we dropped the ball on anything. It's just the nature of the business, right? When you have so many different companies and corporations and entertainment avenues and, you know, entities working on a singular project, uh, it becomes difficult. So especially in stuff like this, everything is a promotion, right? The guy holding a, a Slim Jim, you know, in the camera is a paid promoter. You know, the water bottle is a promotion. The Everything like that, it comes down to that. So uh, we had to, of course... Things that you guys just have to kind of tune in and watch for yourself. Uh, that way we don't get into any legal obligations to where things can come back and hurt us. So as you guys all know, Saitama has a huge target on our back. For whatever reason, people don't want to see us succeed. So everything that we do moving forward, we have to just be extremely cautious in what we're doing. Um, because if something happens negatively from a legal standpoint, everyone is going to suffer. Right. So we want to make sure that we are holding our cards right and that we're doing everything by the book. We're being transparent about it. Uh, we take advice from our legal team on every single thing we do. You know, everything that we do, every move we make is all extremely tactical. It's all very well planned out and thought of. And even more so, it's safe. And that's what's most important because we can't think of ourselves and the company. We have to think about 265,000 other people. Like, how is that going to affect them? right it's not we're not gambling with house money right we're gambling with everybody else's money and we're trying to grow this thing so we can all be wealthy we don't want to take the wrong step in the wrong stride and do something silly to jeopardize that right so sometimes it can be a little bit frustrating and it's frustrating to me too so uh the best thing that we can do is just just be careful and cautious and moving forward and especially now as you guys see you know for every you know, positive thing. There's a negative thing that comes about it. And it's not from anybody in the community. Like I'd never think that it's uh, most of it is from people that aren't even say Tom holders, right? They're not even part of the pack. They're just people out there to create foot. And I would venture to say that 99% of them are probably paid from a third party to do so for whatever reason. I don't understand what, uh, you know, what they're hoping to achieve, but it is what it is. We got a huge target on our back. Um, but it's like shooting a BB gun in a freight train. It's going to have no effect. We're just plow right through it. But we still have to make sure that we're doing things cautiously and, more importantly, legally. So we left it a little bit open-ended and cryptic for you guys to kind of figure out. But you'll see. As the days progress and as we weekend, <coughs> um, things will be a little bit more clear to tune in and see it. But it's a huge marketing aspect to us. And what you know, the stuff that we're doing now, um, not even just coming for this weekend, but everything that we have kind of rolled out and the things that we're doing and working towards, you know, this isn't small time stuff, right? We're not making a YouTube video. We're not, uh, you know, we, I mean, we have billboards in New York city, like we did that right at times square, but we're not doing that small time stuff, right? The stuff that we're working on and doing now, the partnerships we're creating, the, the, uh, joint ventures we're working on, uh, you know, the, the business opportunities and pillars we're creating inside the community and for the company is next level stuff. That's like top five, crypto that's the head of the game we're no longer in that meme category right we're doing big boy moves now so with that puts us in another dimension in the crypto space right we have to be much more cautious uh you know if we were just like a starting out coin we can get away with a lot of stuff because you know what? nobody cares you know if we were a brand new token out there we could do things half-assed we could throw stuff together and do it however we feel like and there really wouldn't be any ramification because there's not enough big enough eyeball on us that nobody cares. I go, you know, these guys, are, they'll be gone tomorrow. Nobody cares. 
uh, but we're huge, you know, we're a big company and everybody, we are in the spotlight, but when you're in the spotlight, that creates a lot of attention and that paints a huge picture and a huge target on you. So we're starting to see. So again, we're just being uh, very cautious in what we're doing and we actually, you know, and you know, having like, Oh, we're going to have something to put out by Monday. Realistically, I thought we'd be able to put something out to you guys on Sunday, which then turned into Monday, which turned into Tuesday. And I'm like, Jesus, come on, give me something. Um, but from now on, I think the best thing moving forward is just to flow everything for one single entity to our main channels, uh, have be a little bit more direct and very coordinated with, uh, with our efforts and what we put out and the information that we do put out, it will be much more clear and concise. We don't want to, like, it's hard for me because we have so many amazing things that we're working on. Like, I want to tell you guys all about it. Um, but I think probably the best thing for us to do now is just to get on and then kind of hit you in the face with it. You know what I mean? That way we're avoiding any kind of confusion. People are like, oh man, I just want to know, I want to know, which is great because it kind of intensifies it, but I don't want to be put in a position to where, you know, minds start to wander and like, man, I'm waiting and I'm waiting in anticipation. And then you get people that are let down and it's just a big, you know, troublesome issue. So. Yeah, we'll kind of attack that. And we're and the things that we're doing, right, we're kind of setting the framework and we're pioneering the crypto space in general right now, what we're doing. Um, there isn't a mock up or an example that we can go by and be like, Okay, well, you know, these guys did it this way, it seemed to be effective. Uh let's try to mimic what they did, right? And like everything that we're doing and continue to do is first generation, right? It's first of its time. Nobody's done that. so not only are we paving the way, but we're also trying to kind of recreate the crypto space and set standards for people moving forward. So as you guys will look back five years from now and you'll see new coming coins that are, you know, prosperous and they have a lot of stuff going for them, you know, they'll try to mimic what we did because we're the ones that pioneered it, right? We set the standard. Um, and I think with that comes a little bit of envy and it comes a little bit of hatred at the same time because we're changing the space so much that people find that as a threat. Like, man, these guys are really changing the way that we look at crypto. We're changing the perspective of, of uh, investment on a digital platform. So anytime you're in the face of something new and something that really throws off the tradition and what people are used to is what's called the norm, uh, and, you know, it's threatening because there's been a lot of people in this space that have made a lot of money on kind of preying on the weak and preying on the unknowledgeable, preying on people that don't have a full understanding of what crypto is. So now that we're fully doxed and transparent, people are like, hang on a second. This is really going to throw a wrench into what we've been doing for the last six months to a year. You know, how can uh, we can't compete with that? You know, what we should do is we should try to sabotage it so they can stop it because I don't want to lose my mojo, right? I don't want to have my way of life be threatened by these new guys coming in and setting a way higher standard that we can't conform to. You know, what can we do to stop this? So, um, that's how we got to kind of look at it. And I, I don't really get on Twitter a lot to like kind of, you know, uh, I don't know, communicate or read a lot of the comments and stuff. I just don't have time, not because I don't want to, it's just because I have so much other stuff going on. I come on and like put up updates and stuff. But sometimes when I do, you know, and a lot of it, don't get me wrong, 99.9% .9 of it is all positive. And you guys are all amazing. I love you guys all. And it's amazing. And it's most everybody is so appreciative. Uh, and that means a lot coming from us and the developers. But there's always 1%. percent got something negative to say, you know, and I just keep scrolling past it. But if you actually look at it, they're like ghost accounts. They got one follower, um, you know, and they probably, it's one person that's got 10 accounts, you know, and these people were probably paid by somebody else, I don't know, to spread this kind of negative information around. But anytime there is something that needs to be addressed that I feel is cons um, or maybe a red flag to the community, like you guys know me well enough by now that I will come out publicly and say, Hey, there's been some confusion about this. Let me go ahead and get in front of this. Now let me address it, ask her, you know, answer any questions uh, and move forward in a positive light. But you know, we're, we're still you know, molding this company into what we want it to be. So there's going to be some hiccups along the way. Um, but long run, like we're doing things right from what I see. Uh, and we're doing things that are not only innovative, but really, I guess I'm going to conform a whole new crypto space when we're done. But that should be the standard. I feel like the stuff that we're doing is pioneering a much more safer environment for everybody and educating the public. And like I've come on and said many times before, 
is we don't want to siphon money from one coin to another. Like, how is that beneficial for us? It's not. You know, if, if one coin is doing well, you know, and they're, you know, pumping their 5X, 10X, you know, maybe they have something good. They got a new, we don't do everything, right? There's a lot of good coins out there that do things that we do not, you know, um, and they could be a good project. Why would I want to siphon money from them to take it to us? I don't. Because what's going to happen when we start to do a downtrend or we're in a little bit of a lull, people are going to sell our coin to go to the next 5X, 10X, right? That's not investing. That's just moving your money around. Um, you know, and you can be prosperous in that aspect, like, but you have to live on these charts. So you got to watch this shit every second of every day and time it and hope that you catch the dip or hope that you buy at the right time and hope you sell at the right time. And yeah, that's exhausting. And I'm exhausted as it is. I can't imagine doing that all day. But what we want to focus on more importantly, bringing in new investors and new money into crypto. And how do we go about doing that is by having marketing, having the education, right? Giving people the warm and fuzzy to then invest their money into cryptocurrency because right now the one percent of the world right that invest in crypto they know the risks they know the rewards uh they, they see the benefit they see the future in, in, in digital currencies but the other 99 percent, they're like oh i ain't messing with that man. that's crazy i'm gonna put my money in my bank or i'm gonna invest in my ira or my cd or you know in real estate or whatever which is totally fine but you know, this is the path, right? Cryptocurrency is the path of success. And it will be the new dominant era. It will take over a lot of the traditional fiat. It will replace our traditional banks. It will do this. It will do everything. So how do we get people on board to really capitalize on that, right? We educate them, but we want to educate them in the right way. We want to give them a good opportunity. So people that invest in a solid project, like say, Tom, and they get in, they don't have to worry about getting rugged right they don't have to worry about getting scanned they don't have to worry about anything they know that their money is safe and even if they invest it today and it goes down a few dollars tomorrow they know that long term their money is safe they're gonna make money and they know that they don't have to watch it and follow up on everything and know like man i don't know is is it time gonna you know are they gonna is it a scam tomorrow is it scam what's gonna happen um and i don't want people to have that perception of crypto we don't want to get people in to investing in crypto for the first time and have them think that it's not a safe environment. You know, and people, they're, maybe their first experience, like investing in crypto, their buddy told them, hey, go buy this random menu coin, you know, and then it gets the rug pulled on it two days later. You really think those people are going to throw some more money at crypto? Like, man, I had a shot, right? I put in a hundred bucks because Bob told me to, and I lost it within 24 hours. I ain't never doing that stuff again. So we don't want to have that experience. We want to bring in new money, but we also want to do it the right way, educate people the right way, have a safe environment and we want to reach those people on certain levels so they know that it's safe so having an event like this of this scale in this upcoming weekend that says two things it says okay this is real like these guys are the real. they're playing on a different level now you know they may have heard about us from a buddy of theirs or saw a billboard or a youtube video and now it's in the back of their mind like hey i've heard about say Tom before and then scale this size and they're like man it's that's next level stuff like that's cardano that's xrp that's ethereum that's like next level uh cryptocurrency these guys must be in that category right so now we're bringing in new money they say tom we're not siphoning from somebody else we're bringing in new money because we all prosper when we do that because this person might come in and invest in say tom have a good experience guess what now they're going to go invest in another cryptocurrency because they know that they've made money here why not go somewhere else and make some more you know what i mean that's that's what we want to do and that's kind of uh, the ideology of having these different events, doing all of this different stuff, creating these joint ventures, bringing in partnerships, you know, and, and the, the growth that we've had in the last six months, you know, over 260,000 is, is a direct reflection of that, right? It's not because we're making cool posts on Twitter. Uh, it's not because our IG is banging, right? No, it's because we're creating these different uh, verticals and having our name out there in the proper way, right? It's not a guerrilla marketing tactic. It's not, you know, slam in your face marketing is very thought out. It's very tactical, uh, methodical, and it's validated, right? It comes with a certain sense of proof where it's not just state infomercial. Uh, it's expressing something that's here for the long term, something to stay. So, and I kind of got off on a little soapbox there, but that, you know, try not to be too cryptic. It's going to be an amazing event. Uh, there's going to be a lot of really cool things that are happening. Uh, you guys will just have to kind of check it out the way in Saturday and the event on Sunday. And, you know, I got a, a lot of 
plans for when I'm down there this weekend to meet with some people that we're going to try and iron some stuff out and create some new partnerships with. And it's going to be, it's going to be good. So also I wanted to touch on one more thing, the, the cert tick audit. So I did see that they had updated their site where it said 35%. So that doesn't mean that it's 35% completed to the point where we have to wait 66 more percent time-wise. Like, so if it's been a month, that doesn't mean we have two months left. Not at all. Not even remotely close. That just means that the smart contract phase that they're on is 35% completed. So I say that to say this, that we know that they are relatively close to being done and we are literally at the home stretch. So I don't have an exact date. They won't provide one to us, but as soon as they do, obviously you guys will be the first to know, but I didn't want you guys to get discouraged. I'm like, man, really? It's been a month and they're only 35% complete. Like, no, that's, that's not what that means. It just means that that portion of the smart contract is 35% complete, but it doesn't mean that we got two more months. It just means that, that portion is that that certain point, but the rest of it is complete. So anyways, it should be very, very soon. Um, I was anticipating this week, uh, last week with the holiday. I'm sure a lot of stuff didn't get done. I was really hoping for this week. I Obviously being Thursday, I highly doubt they're going to be done by tomorrow. Um, but I do foresee it in the very, very near future. And I don't want to have you guys hold me to a certain day because I really don't know. Uh, but I do anticipate it being very, very soon. So I just wanted to kind of put that out there for you guys not to get discouraged by that 35 percent just keep an eye on their website they'll update it here very soon as far as where they're at and what's to come so when they do complete it we have to then look at the notes uh take any security risks into account and correct them right that's the whole idea of doing a search to audit is to find loopholes right to find risks involved that we may not have seen and then they can present those to us and we can go ahead and take that information and correct any errors so any kind of error that is there uh just needs to be addressed right it's not going to be anything really time consuming it's probably something just very minor that was something in the coding or the structure of the ecosystem we'll have to go in and patch it right patch that whole patch firewall do whatever we need to do and i'm not going to pretend to know what that means because i didn't write it and max's team and them they they do all that right i don't i had a hard enough time figuring out twitter space i'm not going to try and code an entire wallet let's just be honest so they know how to do that uh but that's the whole idea right so they'll come back and say hey you're good to go we didn't find any security risk whatsoever uh, we're good. Or they'll say, hey, we did find a couple things and that gives us an opportunity to fix it. Then they can go back and be like, all right, cool. You guys corrected it. And now we'll give you, you know, the, our blessing, right? So to speak. So, um, yeah, so that's that's it on the uh, the search I got it. So I didn't want you guys to get discouraged and be like, man, 35% is going to be another two months. No, like we're, we are there at the home stretch, maybe. So we have a lot of really cool things. I know you guys are anxious and I am probably just as much or not more excited and anxious and you guys are because i don't have like a nano wallet and i see all the things that people in these scams and all this stuff and i'm like terrified man i'm like i put all this stuff in different wallets and i keep my seed phrase buried under my in my backyard and i'm like man i just need to get this this wallet out and this this sata hard wallet out too so i can start putting my coins on there it's, these guys are getting way too clever so as always you guys be careful with your coins don't be clicking on scammy links and anything that does not come from our official channel assume that it's not accurate right a link a a post we don't do random ass giveaways we don't do you know re a reward system that we don't you know what i mean like just don't you guys should know better but if you don't don't get caught up in it um they come out with that stuff every day right i think there's like 17 saitama gurus on twitter uh so watch out for that and same with instagram there's actually in the play store there's a uh an app right somebody they created a sata mask app for people and you could have you i think we got it removed now but you could have like, gone on there and people were asking like the app itself was asking you their, your seed phrase like ours does right to import your seed phrase but ours wasn't even out yet it's not even on the play store so people were utilizing that to scam people out of their coins Right. So if if you just see a random SATA mask pop up on the app store and we didn't say anything about it, trust me, when it is available, like everybody's going to know about it. We won't just like secretly launch the SATA mask on the app store. So just be cognizant of things like that. And there was also a video, a YouTube video that was floating around with me and Willie D. They like crop the 
film or the you know whatever pictures and stuff out of there and created this video and had a link for I don't know somebody was giving away coins and it, it sucks because I people message me all the time like man I lost you know whatever a thousand dollars five thousand dollars and say Tom and I don't you know and I feel bad I really do I just there's nothing that we can do about it when it gets to that point like we can't there's no magic tunnel we can go through to retrieve people's coins I wish there was there just isn't so we can just try to express to people not to fall victim to that kind of stuff very weary um but what makes it even worse it's like a double double punch because what happens is all the people in the community lose their tokens and then that people that scam them all sell it so there was a point last week where somebody had sold like a million dollars worth of satama and i was just happened to be on dextrals and i looked at it and i tracked the wallet because this was the whole time that video was circulating around and sure enough that wallet had nothing no buys just transfers and there were about 250 transfers ranging from 10 billion all the way up to 1 trillion coins of Saitama transferred into this wallet via that video to scam people and immediately sold it as soon as we got the video removed so it hurts twice right people in the community are getting scammed and then it hurts the price because that dude you know sold what it was like a million dollars uh, worth of Saitama coins at that moment in time and and there's nothing we could do except for just watch and try to get this stuff removed and keep the public cognizant of what's going on and um, and all that. So, but you guys also, if you see stuff like that, just report it. Let somebody else know. Mass report it. Get it to everybody on there. Let them know what's going on, um, and then so we can try to minimize the damage. So, anyways, I uh, I gotta get off here. I just wanted to come on real quick and talk about those two quick things, um, and we'll have much more information to come. I just want to give you guys a heads up on what we're doing briefly, quickly. And uh, yeah, and, that, and that's really all I got for now. A lot of the information that we're going to try and have out and funnel uh, will be through a much more professional setting, through our PR firm and our marketing team, um, and a much more professional uh, strategic approach. But just know that I'm sure you guys can all guess by now that we're very strategic in what we do. And everything that we do is with the sole purpose of benefiting this coin right to making it known to every single man woman child elder dog cat snail on the planet to know what saitama is and i think that we're getting there and this weekend will help catapult us to that level so that's the idea and it's gonna be great so i will see you guys this weekend and uh whether it's on tv or otherwise and uh yeah thanks for having me on here i appreciate it hey russ thanks so much for coming out man Absolutely. Thank you guys you take so care. Much.